Oh, shoot. Kim! Kim, 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 Kim. 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 We're supposed to do the, the, the tour. The oh, game room today. tour today. That's today. I'm so thankful you were standing now with a camera. Oh, I just happened to have it. It really does help oh. right now. Oh, Kim. Oh, Did you know if you go to the link, the description of this video, you can get free drinks right now? Like free shipping, free drink, free everything. That goes for everyone watching. I feel like there's a catch. There's no catch. It's game or something. So you just go down below. I'll talk about it more later, but it's crazy. Also, I'm going to be live on Twitch today, giving away a bunch more gamer subs and eShop codes and games for Nintendo Switch. And all you got to do is show up and be in chat. Speaking of down below, come on, Kim. Um, Sorry, ignore the birthday balloons. It was my birthday. Oh, uh, was it? I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to go to the link below because it was my birthday. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All right, so this video is going to be a look at my new studio basement. I've had a lot of people ask me two questions lately. This is a very boring corner to start with. Come over here. I have had people ask me two questions lately. One, Wood, can you please show us your new game room and your studio and tell us where you get these shelves, but just to look at everything in general. And two, what happened with G Fuel? Well, I, that's that, that two very different conversations there. One is very fun and one is very frustrating. You wanna see the frustrating? Should we get that out the way first? All right, let's do the frustrating first. So I no longer work with, we'll go ahead. <laughs> Should have planned this. We'll go ahead and get rid of that all together. You guys remember when I was really excited to get my G Fuel fridge when we moved in here? And within 20, not 12 hours, it froze up, froze all the cans, and they started exploding. So now I'm having to do damage control and defrost it. But it's so loud. Listen. It's the loudest fridge I've ever heard. It won't shut up. Ended up shoving it in this back corner. And if, you're, if you thought all of that was bad enough, let me tell you, shortly after that, all the partner managers that I had ever worked with got fired. Why did they get fired? No one really knows, really. Uh, the only thing that was really said or told to us was that there was some uh, meeting that they all had and uh, they were they were allegedly harassed. I don't, I don't wanna get into it too much. Spoke up for themselves, then got fired. And when a lot of us, like A-Drive and myself, tweeted at G Fuel saying, hey, we're not gonna promote your product until you tell us what the heck is happening. You know what they did? They didn't tell us what the heck was happening. I never heard word again, and eventually my contract just expired, and they never said a single thing to me, which was very upsetting because I worked with that brand for like two years. And uh, during the March Madness sale, when I was robbed out of getting my shaker cup, my design was definitely the best. They, uh, uh, we, uh, out of all 60 people in the competition, I sold like the most. Oh. He would like a word. All jokes aside, uh, it, they just ended up ghosting me and I guess they don't want to work with me anymore or they forgot that I was even on the brand. So now that's done with. Although to be fair, the product really isn't, you know, that great. You know what I realized about this? Very chalky, Kim, which is why I always drink the cans. <laughs> you know what company? <laughs> Come with me, Kimberly. You know what company has really good tubs like powder because they don't chalk it full? of like- They don't chalk it Chalk full? it Is full of chalk? Is <clears throat> Photos of Bob, apparently. Oh shit, sorry. That was, I was supposed to close that out. Oh, I bet you were. Um, Subs. I am now partnered with Subs, And I am very, 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 actually very excited about this. I've always heard about them and I wanted to try them. And when all this happened, I looked in my emails and a year ago, they had emailed me asking if I wanted to try the product. And I asked, hey, is this email still active? And if so, can I get some? And they were like, sure, we'll send you some. And I was immediately impressed by the product because look how tiny the scoop sizes are. They have such quality product. It's not all padded out with extra filling and chalk. It has a really smooth and light taste and doesn't feel all thick. And it's actually delicious. And they have some really fun flavors. This is waifu candy, tastes like candy. This is emotional damage, I relate to that. And of course, my actual favorite, guacamole gamer fod. Sounds like I'm kidding, but it actually tastes like lime and I like it a lot, at least I think it's lime, that's my guess. They have waifu shaker cups and depending on the color of your drink changes her outfit. Yeah. And that's what I said earlier when I was like, you can get free 
drinks below because if you go down there and use code beatemups, a special offer, you can get free gamer subs in the link below. Literally free to your house with free shipping. And also I'm gonna be live streaming tonight and giving even more away. And if you do end up buying some and using my code beatemups, you'll get free shipping. So buy some too, if you wanna get more than the free. Also, I wanna add that Gamer Subs is keto friendly, which means it has zero calories, zero sugars. It's organic caffeine. They also have caffeine free options, which means you can get electrolytes. It's lead free. And also it all comes down to about 32 cents a serving. So this is definitely the way to go. Let me show you the game room. We'll start back over here because this area is still gonna take some imagination like it did initially. It hasn't really changed that much other than putting up some fun pictures here. I put up the Splatoon picture here. Oh yeah, honestly, it looks, you need to get like a little light for it because it looks very high end. I know, I actually was kind of impressed with it at the end yeah. of the day. I was like, you know what? It's hanging on the wall, it looks really cool. You just need one of those little lights. Oh, you know what? We'll get you a little plaque on the bottom. Name the painting. Oh God. So I've got all my camera stuff here now and my plan is to get rid of this and also get rid of this. Put like fake brick in here. I haven't told Kim this yet, but I decided I want to put the fake brick in here and then I can put a camera here and I can shoot on a fake brick wall. I have no idea what's happening in this room yet. I really have no clue, but obviously I've put all my glass cases here, but the lighting for these glass cases costs like $80. And I tried to jerry rig this one myself, which costs like 40 bucks and it just looks horrible. You can see all the wires in it. It's gross. This, I do like this. There's just something really empty about it. Or doing the fake grass wall. Then we were thinking about putting like a fake grass wall here, but then we have this freaking thing to worry about. A giant pipe behind here. It's piled up. It's almost time for a fan mail video, but this is almost finished. There's just some blank walls that I want to try and put some things on. I built a set here. I haven't really utilized it in videos much yet, but I definitely utilize it while I stream. Uh, so I stream standing or sitting here with the camera pointed back and it makes a really nice set. That's actually kind of cute. It's actually kind of sick. <laughs> oh God. All right. Okay. All right. It's, I'm not trying. No. <laughs> I feel like standing in front of that would be a cool. Yeah. I'm just too tall. So oh. I, I'm trying to convince the cats and Kim to like actually sit here with me. And these are really cool. I think I've showed that before. Kim and I design, you can design the shape yourself. Right now I've set it to full colors but you can set it to any color you want. You can have it like white. And then you can also do things cool like this. And then it reacts to my voice. Oh, that's cool. Which is pretty cool. Oh my God, look at him in the sun patch. Hey buddy. You getting all hopped up on sunshine, pal? <laughs> He's so cute. All right, my little gaming setup. I do have to get a new couch. This is the couch they left and it's very ugly and very brown. It just um, doesn't go with- No, it's it's hideous. So I sit here to play games, obviously. In my last studio space, which was literally just a room, I didn't have any windows. And as we're getting blasted by light, you can probably tell there's double window walkouts right here, which has been really nice uh, to actually get some sun in the day. I kind of want to do a Nintendo Switch collection video. Oh boy. So I guess we won't go into everything I have right now. This is the game wall, which a lot of people say it looks like a video game store. I have my 3DS collection up here, my Vita collection over here. I always forget how many Vita games I had. My PS3 collection, which is mostly just exclusive games. My Wii U and Wii collections. My 360 collection, which is one of my favorite collections. I've got quite a few of those and I've actually played all of these. This was the era that I started collecting games. So I started holding on to my actual games. Also, ton of PlayStation 4 stuff, which I've played a lot of. A bunch of extra Amiibos that I have nowhere to put, just sat in a box here. The X Xbox One, PlayStation 2, and then actually quite a bit of GameCube. And it's a mix. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, this is all the PAL GameCube, the GameCube logo at the top. And then this is the uh, American GameCube with the GameCube logo at the bottom, which has always frustrated me, but. And then we have the Switch wall. Let me so back fun. up a little here. Yeah. Where the, does the Switch section end? Right there? The red. So four shelves of just Switch. Yeah, so when we moved in here, the plan wasn't to have a whole wall like this. I initially only ordered enough shelves up to here 
and I was going to put everything in here. By the time I actually got it all localized onto the shelves, I realized there was literally no room for anything other than Switch. Then I had to buy the rest for everything else and it's still not enough. Yeah, so all the Switch games through here, down there. We have all the consoles are like here, and over here on my special editions, which I have most of them at this point. I know I'm missing the Fortnite one, for example. The only one you're missing? There's a couple. Uh, I do have the rarest Nintendo Switch. We've talked about that, the Disney one. Thanks to Steven. And then some, some really cool collectible stuff. I love the Bayonetta and Astral Chain Collector Editions. I like that they look the same. Look really cool. Uh, they look really cool. Then I have some, uh, a ton of limited run stuff. For a while I was collecting every limited run thing I could. And then I just stopped because it got kind of ridiculous. And then as well as limited run, I also have every super rare game. I don't know if you guys remember, but initially when Super Rare as a company started, I worked with them to announce all of the games they were making. So I think I announced the first like 20 or 30 of their games. And since then they've been nice enough to keep sending me them all. I will do an actual collection video at some point, the whole thing, and maybe I just won't get into it at the second. Some people said when I put this up, like, what are you gonna do once you get more Switch games? <laughs> well, because you think I can't find room, I can't. They're like, uh, they're everywhere. I've got Switch games piling up back here. You've got an entire case of them there that you told me to put so you'd remember to play them. Yeah, these, so these are the ones I wanna play. So when I buy a game with the intention of playing it, uh, but then don't get around to it, I don't wanna throw it in the collection because I'll forget. I'll literally forget that I have it and that I bought it. So this bin is just a bin full of games that either I wanted to play or I wanted to review for some reason. Actually, some of these could go on the shelf. Like, Dragon, I finally finished that one. There's also like Japanese games here that I bought recently. These, obviously, some people think it's really cringe to hang up your play buttons, but I really do take pride in the achievement and everything we, we've accomplished as a community. I would like to stop the stigma of being proud of yourself. I know, people I'm like- I'm so sorry, I, I they sent me this, I'm hanging it up. We own that, everybody. I don't know, I like it. Also, I'm never gonna get another one. The next one's at what, like 10 million? Yeah, so I just- That's it, that's all I'm getting. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's really the studio right now. I mean, if you guys can recommend anything for the walls, anything cool, cause like I have a lot of blank space up here and around these corners. I wouldn't mind filling with art or some cool lights or something. I don't wanna keep saying the name, but that whole thing we talked about was very stressful and a bit of a nightmare, but it all worked out for the best. Um, and you know what, that kind of symbolizes this whole move, you know? We moved here and uh, we were really excited and then both Kim and I went through a lot of change anxiety and we're still dealing with it a lot. Um, it was hard to make videos for a while. It was hard to do anything for a while. Um, we got anxious just trying to leave the house. You know, everything is so great here and everything that we wanted. It was almost overwhelming. It sounds so stupid to be like, it's so good that we got scared to experience it, but that's what we've been experiencing. Um, and it's only been lately that we're starting to feel settled and more um, like we belong here. Simi. Simi, Simi just loves it. I... Simi belongs here. He's having a great time. You like your new house and your sun patch? Yeah, uh, Jesus, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, hello. You're too scared to come all the way down, huh? You guys wanted a little tour of the studio. I hope you liked it. Where are you going? We had a really cool shot. Look at him. Oh, uh, take me. Anyway, as I was saying, thank you all for joining Kim and I on this journey. Please click that link down below and support GamerSub. And they've been so freaking cool. They've made so many assets and brand kits for me to use. Giving away that free stuff too is really awesome. Thank you guys. And don't forget, I'll be live on Twitch tonight, giving away not only a ton of GamerSubs, but also a ton of eShop codes and credit and games and codes for games on the Switch a ton of stuff. We're gonna be playing games on Twitch. I'm gonna be giving away games on Twitch tonight. All right, uh, bye.